past weeks and weeks coming. And if you want to participate or call in, we have a local number for you to call in at 702-650-KKVV. That's 702-650-KKVV. And also, if you want a, a different switch to it, it's 702-650-5588. 702-650-5588. Or you can also go stream on your cell phone and join us by going to kkvv.com. Just look at the drop down that says listen now, and we'll have a fresh broadcast for you going live in time. So get ready for a wonderful show. Thank you so much. Again, this is Forgiven, and as you know, we are on the air live, and we're talking to you about something that's very, very important. So now, my wonderful um, group that's here, I'm delighted to have them, but BZ, I left the papers right on my desk, and I need them so we can give it to everyone. So if you can go and get that for me, I'd appreciate it. I will do just that. Amen. Welcome back, everybody, to Forgiven. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting ready to talk about um, important subjects and we're excited because we do have the youth here today and so while we're waiting for BZ to come back we're going to have them introduce themselves so we're going to start on this end and then work our way around hello world my name is Dez Burgers Burgers like the food um hi my name is Jeshua I'm the person and I'm a uh, local artist fantastic Hi everyone, I'm Shania Epps and I'm a recent high school grad. <laughs> okay, and then we have Tate. Good evening everyone, I'm Tate McClung, here hey. always to be and receive a blessing. And BZ? Uh, once again, praise the Lord everybody, my name is BZ and I'm a voice actor and a saint of the Most High God. <laughs> Well, we know what he does. <laughs> well, again, my name is Brenda Ward, and I'm the host of Forgiven. And Forgiven is a show that is dedicated to the young people and their family members. So that means anyone who is responsible for a youth, this show is dedicated to you. It is important that you tune in every week. So if you have relatives or friends and they don't know about, the, about us, Please tell them about us because we're on the air to try to help the young people make better choices. They are growing up in our society, and we as parents, grandparents, guardians, we are all responsible for them and for what their life is going to be as they continue to get older and more productive. And so Forgiven is here to give you biblical, I will repeat that, biblical information as well as what is going on today so welcome back everybody to the studio i thank you for coming Yay. in last week we were talking about trouble and we're going to finish that up because it's important it is an acronym that i broke down and it's saying that we as adults continuously say that the young people are trouble they're nothing but trouble they're always getting into trouble, and yet we're doing nothing to change that. And so I thought it was important that we break down trouble to see what it, what, what it really means. So this is coming from me, and I'm going to briefly cover what we did last week, which was T, and that said, I'm trying wrong things. Of course, as a youth, they're going to try wrong things, but as a parent, you're going to be there to make sure that you know what they're doing so that they don't continue to do wrong things, um, ranging from bad to worse. If you, the parent, is not involved in what your youth is doing and you have no idea where they're at, where they, where they, where they go, whatever they're doing is going to get worse because that's what happens. The enemy wants to destroy our young people, so of course it's going to get bad to worse. Mm -hmm. And then we went over looking the consequences. Now that part was really important, and I think that's where we'll start again so that we can get feedback on that. Overlooking the consequences. Most of the time when the young people get involved in, in something, that is new to them or they don't know, they don't stop to think about the consequences. One of the reasons is because we as parents don't tell them that there is consequences. So I think um, talking about consequences right now, starting off with that, will be very helpful to those who are tuning in and um, very helpful for the youth that are here so they can see what others think. So we're going to go ahead and start with Mr. Burgers because he always says as burgers. So we'll start with you. Overcoming consequences. First of all, 
if I was to say to you, um, y there's consequences for that, son, <laughs> mm -hmm. do you know what that means? Uh, I think that I, I understand it because being around people that are older than me, um, I was kind of forced to understand it because I've always hung out with my, my crowd was always people that are two or three old two or three years older. So I think I do understand that. And uh, I think it's really uh, good to know for the future. It'll also help make future decisions. Mm -hmm. exactly. Well, um, my take on consequences is, and today's society is that people overlook them mainly because they they do things for pleasure instead of actually thinking what what's gonna happen afterwards. Like, go ahead and smoke, but how, <laughs> what is your outlook going to be on everybody else like you can think as high as you want on your on like of yourself but what does god think about you mm -hmm. like what are you doing and what are the consequences going to be to you and the people around you and to know that all that you do doesn't just affect you it affects the people around you like your parents your friends um if i were to go rob a store that's not just bad on me it's bad on my parents because then they give them that outlook that their child is getting brought up in a house that sees that as okay mm -hmm. so you like really have to take in the consequences and be careful in what you do mm. yeah i think that's wow. a, a good point um uh i guess our generation and i mean everybody basically uh they don't they understand the concept of consequences but they don't really see them um when they're trying to you know like fulfill a pleasure that they want to do um it's like they kind of put that off just for that temporary gratification and it's hard as like a teenager because a lot of the things that we're told to do like get good grades mm -hmm. and stay out of trouble like the consequences aren't immediate like smoking and um like getting bad grades that'll that won't affect you until you know you graduate so you like don't see them right away but they're definitely something that you always have to think about because they will affect you eventually so yeah um all, all consequences are definitely not um short term or don't happen immediately some consequences can happen wait years down the road just like um waiting to really strike and then once you do that you there's no going back you can't reverse time mm -hmm. and you can't go back and change or say oopsie hmm. that's it oops huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> Also, the Bible says it, the Bible says it plain that you reap what you sow. That's that's the whole spiritual action of consequences. Whatever you sow, whatever you put in, you're gonna get it back. So there, whenever you make a bad decision, it will come back on you. You know, I'm kind of reminded of this movie back in the days. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it called Boys in the Hood. <laughs> and there was a time when uh, they had killed his brother Ricky. And uh, Cuba Gooding's character, he wanted to get inside the car and go find these guys and go kill these guys. But he remembered everything that his father told him. And on the way, he was telling the driver, let me out. Let me out. It was like, what? Let me out. Say, so let him out. Because he pondered in his head what the consequences could have been if he had actually been a partaker in, in trying to revenge his brother. And the Bible also says, vengeance is mine, I will repay. So as long as we stay on sowing good things, especially especially as young people, because you have so much energy to sow good things, it'll always come back good. Dovetailing on what Tate just spoke on with Boys in the Hood, um, when the the character got out of the car, and the rest of the fellas in the car went to get the revenge. Yeah, they got it, and go, that was going in toward the end of the movie. What most people may or may not know, if you remember the movie. The, the the character Doughboy, who was Ricky's brother, yeah. who 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 took out the revenge, was killed two weeks later. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Consequences came back on. Yeah. So what is that saying to you, young people who are tuning in right now, and those of you who are listening? It's saying that what you reap, you will sow, and things will happen. And it's sometimes not for the good. So we have covered consequences, and so we're going to move on so that we can finish up the word trouble. Ms. Brenda, f just for one brief moment, um, for those of you who are out there watching Facebook Live, um, my reception is really, really bad in here, so the show is um, kind of choppy right now. 
uh, one of our regulars, Leslie, is kicking in, and she's she's here on time this week, and she is giving our guest major props. Even though she she says that the show is choppy, but the kids are awesome. Amen. So um, thank you. And also, she says, "No, Tate did not go see Boys in the Hood." <laughs> <laughs> I had to take it back, Leslie. I had to go back. So, you p- please, for for those of you who are watching on Facebook Live, the show is choppy. You can go to kkvv.com and watch the show because we 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 actually have it streaming live there as well. Um, and that shouldn't be choppy. So uh, please feel free, either either or. But thank you all for watching and your support. Fantastic. Awesome job, yes. young people. Yes. Awesome yes. job. And that's why we like Facebook Live when it's not choppy, yes. um, because it does let us know that people are tuning in and they're listening and making comments. So thank you. And thank you, Leslie, for being on time this week. We love having you tune in every week. We are at the point of understanding so I'm going to start this way now and go back that way. We're going to be doing you for understanding. Um, understanding the consequences, basically, with trouble. Um, oh, understanding nothing when it comes to destruction. I think that ties a lot back into um, consequences. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it takes me back to, like, a church service is when... Um, pastor would talk about two degrees of separation actually um when you do something little like you sin a little bit and you're like oh it's not that bad and you just keep going and going and going and it's uh like the principle the uh the maritime principle when if you're only two degrees off your ship is going to end up miles away and that that's what it reminds me of is when you don't understand like how your actions can add up and then lead you so far away so Good. That's um, awesome. to me, understanding nothing when it comes to destruction is meaning that um, you don't really know what it is to be destroyed and uh, and what you do. Um, like you can go ahead and do whatever you want, but until you meet like that road where you're at at destruction, you won't understand how bad your situation actually is. Like everything has a consequence, and everything can like that can range from like just getting a whooping to jail time Mm -hmm. and like that crossroad is where you meet destruction and then you have to decide if you're gonna like turn back as for like as fast as you can or if you're just gonna keep going and figure out what's gonna happen at the end Hmm. being on the path to destruction was really what uh what made me want to get a stronger relationship with god because uh directly with me I think that it's sometimes it's hard to see what the destruction can be because, you know, we don't know. So I know with me personally, my mindset was always if I ain't dying or if I ain't going to jail, then I don't care what it is. So that was always my mindset. And then I was glad I I was always so blessed to have people that were telling me that that's not the only consequence that can mess up your future. And that's not the only thing that you should be worried about. There's plenty of other things that could affect you in the future and could affect the people that are, that are around you. And um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm so blessed that there are people, especially the elders that are coming in and they can appeal to the youth to help me included understand the, the destruction or what could come in the future because some of them have went through it. Mm-hmm. Does everybody know what the devil has come here to do? Kill, his de- ki- kill, kill steal, and destroy. Kill, steal, and destroy. And a lot of people don't understand that. They don't understand that he goes about seeking as a roaring lion whom he may devour. You know, and, and, and then we have the old straight is the gate and narrow is the way. That leads to happiness, that leads to righteousness, but wide is the way that leads to destruction. So when you're given when you're given knowledge at a young age and God is putting it in your hand and you want to go straight as the way, narrow as the gate, that is powerful because the enemy can't get on that gate. But when you kind of tiptoe into his area and think that you're all that, he'll get you one way or the other. You gotta be careful on that. Okay, dovetailing on what my man Tate was just saying, <laughs> um, speaking on speaking on the paths, because 
um, there's a show on KK, KKVV, The Narrow Path. Yes. Yeah, Steve Gregg. Um, the, the narrow path is the more difficult path to take because it's, it's, not, it's the path actually of most resistance. The wide and broad path is the path of destruction and it's the path of least resistance, which is the biggest trap there is in existence. And on top of that, that's the majority. Mm -hmm. And most people don't even don't even wrap their heads around the fact that the majority is always wrong. Yep. Um, they just they don't they don't dig it. They don't deal with it. Oh, everybody's doing it. Okay, so then guess what? That's what's that, that that's, that's telling you. You're going down the path which is broad, mm -hmm. and that's where destruction is. Even though you may not see it, you want to have your fun. You want to have your good times. The, the Bible says in the end times that, that there will be people who are lovers of pleasure more so than lovers of God. All, all they care about is what they want, what they want to do, how they want to do it, when they want to do it, where they want to do it. And they don't want to submit, subject themselves or submit themselves to an authority greater than their own. Mm. Fantastic. Right. We're moving to B, which stands for Back in Trouble Again. Again. And that, <laughs> I put that in there because we sometimes figure out things and then we kind of run it and make it smooth. And then someone comes along and influence us. And that's mm -hmm. why, Tate, I love the fact that you asked, do we know what the enemy wants to do? Mm -hmm. And that's what he wants to do. So even though we start doing stuff that's right mm -hmm. and we're trying to walk that straight road, mm -hmm. here comes someone who's persuading us, right. you know. Mm -hmm. It may be that, that wonderful girl that you want to talk to. It may be that guy who is built and he's playing basketball, mm -hmm. you know. And here you're following the right road, but he's not. Right. And now he's coming in to persuade you. Mm -hmm. So back in trouble again we do not want to get back in trouble again first of all we don't want to be what we're known as as trouble because remember we're talking to the youth and this is what the adults are saying mm -hmm. so we don't want them to say we're trouble but if we do make a mistake here or there we have our relatives our parents uh, the school everyone to kind of get us back on track so b is really important to me because we don't want anyone to get back in trouble I'm going to leave that open, and whoever wants to make a comment on that one can. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and this, is, this is not even necessarily geared toward the youth. This, this even goes towards adults who get caught up in the prison system. Go out there, do a stretch, get out, and go buck nutty, and go right back. Mm -hmm. Because then what, what's, what's happened, especially if you do a stretch of time, that's the environment that you've gotten used to. So it's no different than once you get your freedom, it's like winning the lottery. And what usually happens when someone win, wins the lottery? They lose their ever-loving mind. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to act. And then they go back and lose it. Mm -hmm. And they're back where they started. Exactly. And a, and a lot of the, the young Christians, the young, you know, the young teen teenagers and kids today have an, a lot of unbelievers that are friends good friends that they relate to in school or whether it be and um you know sometimes when you come from different homes and upbringing you know the christian will say hey look that's not don't do that again you know but they'll they'll always find themselves counseling that same saying friend don't do that why you keep doing that why do you, well you don't understand it like i do well no you know because the the young christian understands that they're a new creation when you're a new creation, old things are passed away. But when you get in trouble, when you're back in trouble again, it's the old things that are not passing away. And that's why it's good that uh, these, these, young, these young people here today are a light to those who walk in darkness, are a light to the youth out there because there's so much, you know, interest. You know, like you guys are saying, in the music, in the acting, there's so many actors out there that are, un, un, that are not saved that will do anything just to get a role. And then they, they can get in trouble again doing that. There's, if you sign your, your name on a contract and you're a young person, they're going to own you. Once you sign your name and then you find out you have to do something that you, you have to cuss, you know. Well, I didn't see a cuss word in this script, you know. Well, you sign on down the line. We want you to read it as it is, you know. So be careful, young people. And, and those of you who have Christ, be a light to those young people so they won't get back in trouble again. Wow. Um, one thing that he said that really stuck with me is when he was talking about um, friends and 
like unsafe friends going back to what they were doing in the first place. Um, one thing that I'll always say for myself is that like you can't change like you can help a person, but you can't like change that person with your like by yourself. Right. That they have to be willing, you know. Exactly. Right. And so like when and I'm always saying that like if you tried your best with that person and done all that you can, mm -hmm. you can't do any more. Don't, because after a while, that thing starts to, like, go into you, and then you're, like, stressing Get over, the step over in. them. Right, you're right. And I'm speaking from, like, um, experience, because okay. I've dealt with people that, like, they don't want to change and just end up pulling you down emotionally or even physically mm -hmm. just because they don't want to change, and then you're trying to change them. Right. You can't change a person. You, they have to be willing to do that themselves. That's right. That's right. Amen to that. You, 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 young people. You have a serious fan out there. She's like, since the the deal is choppy, she's actually listening on KKVB.com, and her thing is these. Her words are: these kids need to be a mentor. Need to be mentors to our youth. That's how impressed she is with you all. That, that she, she feels that Thank you all you. need to be mentors to the youth. That's how awesome you are. Well done. And, you know, last week we did have them say they, their age. Um, so I'm going to ask you to say your name and your age again because if there's more people that's tuning in this week that, you know, missed last week, at least they'll know who is sitting in the studio. Mm -hmm. And then they'll see the mind of that person who is sitting in the studio. That's so I'm right. going to start with you. Um, my name is Jeshurun Black, and I'm 14. Tess Burgers here again, and I'm 15 years old. I'm Shania, and I'm 18. Fantastic. Now, Shania, I'm so impressed with you because you finished high school, and you are already in, in college classes or finished part of the college classes. I think you got some type of degree getting out of high school. Um, yes, I was part of the CSN high school program, so... Um, you haven't when you're in that school you have an opportunity to take a few extra classes and get your associate of arts huh. before you graduate so nice i um with a lot of help from my parents i i couldn't have done it without them i i got my aa before i graduated big so. ups to the parents yes. that is that is what the Wait. deal is <laughs> parents thank you mom Co and dad <laughs> correct me if i'm wrong, if i'm wrong was she the pianist it, it, yes, she did the uh, the play the piano. Yes. Yeah, I was yes. like, she looks familiar. <laughs> she was the piano. Um, excellent. Yes. Actually, she played that piano so beautifully. You guys just don't understand. Parents, good up on you. That that's that is and that's what that's what this show is about, is getting on the parents and showing the kids and not setting the example, being the example. All right, let's see if we can get on the L here. And L is listed uh, as a troublemaker. Uh, Who can speak on that? Listed uh, as a troublemaker. If I could, um, I've been, me being a black, um, a black male, I've been listed as a troublemaker many, many times, <laughs> many times. Um, let it be. Well, one of those times, I was in a store walking around, and I they assumed that I was stealing, and I just, I instead of. Retaliating, which I really wanted to. <laughs> the flesh. I just, uh, I left. And be, being that I know, like, what's going on in today's society, I don't think going to jail or my life is worth um, being accused of stealing in a Smith's. So <laughs> <laughs> I was, I easily left. Right. And for those being, like, listed as a troublemaker, um, you don't have, like, I know it's very frustrating and makes you want to, like, retaliate, but, like, you can't do that because then they have grounds to stand on, yeah. saying that you are a troublemaker. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, the worst thing that you can do. Give them any, just entertain them at all. Yeah. That's the, like, that's the worst thing that you can do in that situation. And unfortunately, young males today, they're listed as troublemakers, period. That's the reason why I broke trouble down. You can just walk into a store, you mm -hmm. know, and, uh-oh, keep your eye on him because he's young. You know, and then with the attire that the, the youth wear today, that automatically makes you, mm -hmm. you know, somebody who's going to start some trouble. That actually leads into E. 
Yes, definitely. But we're going to stop right here, and mm-hmm. we're going to pick this up because we're down to one minute. So next week we will be talking about listed as a troublemaker. And, again, you who are tuning into Facebook, if you got questions or comments, please make sure that you put that on the screen so that we can do that. Also, we did give the numbers out at the beginning of the show. So you as um, listeners tuning in, you can call in and ask a question if you choose to. This group that you see right here will be back next week Amen. and we will still be talking about our young people and how they are not trouble if you're involved in their life thank you so much for tuning in to forgiven and i do hope that you tell someone next week that we're here but that we want you to know that you are forgiven god loves you you're forgiven so walk in that light Forgiven is brought to you in part by Deliverance Through the Word Apostolic Church, where the Word of God is taught, pastored by Dr. Paula Cheney. Sunday morning service is at 11 a.m. Wednesday night Bible study is at 7 p.m. Doctrine classes are taught on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 11 a.m. These classes offer all you need to know about the biblical new birth, Jesus and the Sonship, and the oneness view of Jesus Christ. Deliverance Through the Word Apostolic Church at 3440 West Cheyenne, Suite 200 in North Las Vegas. Thank you for tuning in to Forgiven. You are welcome to return next week at 5.32 p.m. to gain wisdom and knowledge on how to reunite your family by allowing yourself to be forgiven. Send any request to brindy218 at gmail.com. That's B-R-E-N-D-E-E-218 at gmail.com. Let's make a decision to make a change, to stand up and reclaim your youth. Please tune in to Forgiven next Thursday at 5.32 p.m. here at KKVV 1060 AM or KKVV.com.